So after Vietnam, um, my, I, my best time after Vietnam was getting off the airplane at Seattle, Washington, is where I checked out. And I can remember to this day coming down the steps and getting down on my hands and knees and kissing the hot tar. And I was just glad to be home. Yeah, I think what the only time you ever really got out of Vietnam was you did meet Brandy in Hawaii. Did. I took my uh, mid-leave off the R&R &R and we spent six days, five days in Hawaii. Uh, yeah, that was a tough time. I really yeah. hated seeing what you guys were going through yeah. when you came back. I applied. I had three months left at the end of my tour of duty in Vietnam. So I applied for an inner theater transfer to um, go to Hawaii because I thought that would be fun. I could spend three months in Hawaii and enjoy myself. And they, in their infinite wisdom, sent me to Korea. So I went from 110 degrees in Korea to, I believe it was pretty close to zero in Korea at that time. Yeah, it was so 110 I, in Vietnam, not Korea. Uh, 110 in Korea and then zero in, in, 110 in Vietnam, zero in Korea. So I had a, I caught this terrible cold and, uh, which lasted about two weeks, but I got my job done in two weeks. They assigned me as a brigade liaison officer because they didn't know what else to do with me. I overranked most of the company commanders. So I got my job done and I so I spent two and a half weeks driving a Jeep drinking beer and playing pool until they shipped me home to get out of the service. So that was a good time. 